What's up, YouTube? Back in the video. LA Mamba. It is October 8, 2023. It is Sunday, 2 10 p.m., and we're closed for the day. Yeah, guys, so today was a, a steady day. It wasn't crazy busy. I had a lot of workers, so. Uh, when we have a car come in, don't knock it out fast, and I'll leave. Another one will leave, come in, knock it out fast, and it was pretty much like that the whole time. There was only like one or two rushes that were like four cars at one time, uh, and we were all working at those. Even when I was put at work at those times, we had like let's say like six, eight uh, tires to do. I would do one, my guys would do the others, um, rotations and stuff like that. But pretty much for work, there was uh, sales and uh, a lot of sales in the used, uh, sales in the new, and then it was uh, labors and patches. So the main thing we did today was sell used. Then we got an internet one today. I never really tell you guys, but I, I get internet ones in also in the during the weeks. You know, during the, every every video I post is like, you know sales from the internet too you know i just don't really tell it say it but it's just like one guy that would be like two buy like two tires you know they, and and stuff like that you know just just a little bit like that since i don't post much i only get like a guy here and there consistently during the week but it's not a not a big deal so i don't really say it so um but yeah so pretty much uh this week was a very good learning week for me uh, as I tell you guys, it's very important to go to meetups, especially the real estate meetups. It's not really about to learn about the real estate. In, in this case, you learn about other things, other business owners go because you know to have uh, to get to that level of being a real estate investor, you gotta uh, first have money, right, uh, to invest in the property. So a lot of people that have money are are uh, business owners, and you learn from them. But for me. Uh, this week, what I've learned was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, loans and what other people are doing the business and how how good actually multifamily is. Um, it's just a lot of, uh, you know, doing the, what you know which, what we gotta do, right? It's it's it just in my case right now I'm I'm uh, I'm applying for a second. Uh, private money mortgage so I'm just going through the motions getting uh, three of my buildings painted doing a lot of damn plumbing jobs so I have to like get my friend that's from around here to go over there and um, just pre uh, what's it called hydro jet the, the sewer lines on a couple of my properties out in uh, Bakersfield and uh, but that's just when he has time, which is gonna be probably Monday night. So, cause to, I mean, it's just ongoing, you know, maintenance and stuff like that, which is normal, everything's good. Um, but the point is like, the learning the learning that I did this week was, uh, was great, I loved it. You know, I went to two meetups this week. A uh, lot, met a lot of new people. And, um, but I got some very good, uh, insights to you know again these details of loans right so you want to get properties you got to know loans you got to understand them and it's always good to talk uh mortgage even uh, uh, like you know even if you got nothing to do and you have like a mortgage broker right there and you're talking mortgage it's very good to like refresh your memory about all these details and uh not only that like what's ahead so like i like ask questions about um like uh, construction loans, you know, and uh, it's really up to the banks and the private money guys on uh, how they feel the risk and how they're gonna like treat the loan so they can like do a cross collateral with your other properties to lend you money to build, let's say ADUs on your current property that you wanna do some work on. Uh, but the point is, it's a beautiful thing, just learning about uh, more details, which it means like, if you can get the loans, guys, man, you can do some activity. You know what I mean? If you can get loans in real estate and you know what you're doing, go for it, and then you're gonna make some money with that. If you're barely learning, then it's like you gotta, 
they take everything more legit, you know, like the whole like go with a a a, a tr like a like a more like a national brand company that does you know more loans on the taxes based on your income and stuff like that on yourself. If you want to be more aggressive, like what I'm doing, it's gonna be more on the on the property that they're gonna look at, and uh, you're able to take more risk because you're able to force appreciation and let's say at least two ways on each property let's say if you're doing a commercial multifamily property right so the point is I'm, I'm uh i'm still learning um about these you know in this case construction loans because uh i'm thinking about next year you know you always gotta have like you know what you're doing now is fine and you, you know you're going through the motions it's gonna get done eventually but what's next and that's my what's next is like if I build some something on my current properties then uh, I'll be able to uh, to keep moving forward and I just do nothing and you know you you want to be always active in real estate also not just a tire shop business but you always want to be active in uh, what you're doing right uh, yeah guys so I just want to talk to you for today's video a little bit about uh, well one viewer has some questions right he's new to the business and he asked about prices. Well, I'll read you the, the, the question. Pretty much he said, uh, one is, okay, so about the tire prices on used tires. You got like the, the A grade and the B grade, right? Which is the A, let's call it the very good quality and the B is like, kind of like a regular quality. And it says, okay, the A costs you this much, the B's cost you this much. Uh, like, what do you buy, pretty much? And at what prices, right? So here we go. So my opinion, you always got to go for the A's as much as you can. Grabs, you know, you, you're you going to have your shop known as, like, a very quality shop. So you're going to want to grab the best tires there is. And by the way, there's not going to be a lot of these. So you will run out of options when you go to A's because you're going to be there. You know, it, I mean, out here, that's how it is. Like, out here, it's like you, you're going to run out of the A's, it, you know, like, even in my, my, you know, when I buy, like, 500 tires, and, like, that's, I'm pretty much maxing out with that, with that guy because uh, they need more tires for the next shop, you know, so... Uh, they will have to, you have to wait till like next week, right? To get more A's. If you want more, we'll get you more next week. But right now it's kind of like, okay, this is all we got kind of, you know? So in that case, what I do is I pretty much just stop and just get whatever I can with the A's and then, and then that's it, you know, like next week. And you see how I do with my videos. I order more and I would order more. Uh, until this date right now, I haven't ordered more this week. And I don't want to order more next week. And the following week, I don't want to order more because I'm already happy with my inventory, even though it's going down a lot. Uh, as you can see, this rack is already cleaned up. Um, but that's more of a personal thing. It's just like, what I'm saying is like, uh, um, you can wait till next week to get more A's. Or uh, if you have another shop, go to another shop and get more A's, right? I wouldn't go for the B stuff uh, unless it was like high quality uh size like let's say like a very quality high size so like uh just an example out here 255 35 18s if you have like tall 15s like uh 225 70 15s like uh 235 75 15s those grab those bees if you're there you know like um you always have those customers come every week every freaking day for that size so you know that kind of stuff i'll grab but you know, I always want the best shit in my shop. So like, you see, all my tires are like like high with the with the tread life. You know, like the good quality shit is like everywhere. Like you hold, you look everywhere, and they're just like all like that. Like every single thing. My whole shop is filled with A's. And with the B's, and you're like, all right, well the B's, you um, you just skip it until you get the next guy or the next week. So. Focus on the A's and uh, now how much, he says how much of a markup 
So pretty much, uh, oh, and the prices, right? So like, don't I, I feel like don't you don't gotta worry about the price, like a dollar here, dollar there and stuff. Like, you know, you, your customer's gonna pay because he wants the good shit. So don't worry about like, what's the price you're gonna get it at? So you can think, oh, all right, well, so not thinking about the price I'm gonna get it at, so I'm gonna be like, just uh, what's the price I'm gonna sell it at, right? So then it's like, uh, I wanna say like you wanna do 100% markup, you know, just what I do, you know, like on the on the on the bread and butter sizes. Let's say this stuff right here down there. You look at this. This is a 205, 65, 16 down there. Everything you look at out there is like a grade A. It's got like you know, I don't know whatever. 70% life, 65% life and up, 70% life and more, 80% on some, and. Uh, you know, I also get it for 20 bucks. So you're getting 20 bucks out there. I get it for 20 bucks here. Just an example, right? Maybe a little less, 19. But just call it 20 bucks, right? So what I'll do is I'll do 100% uh, profits, which is uh, 20, you know, another 20 on top, plus the disposal fee. Out here in Cali, it's very expensive disposal fee. It became very expensive the last two years. So I, I call it five bucks. Right? I call the disposal fee five bucks. So that's another five on top of that. So plus 25 plus your 20, that's 45 each. So 45 plus tax, mounted balance, throw with the junk tire included. Make it easy for the customer to understand it. Make it easy for when you charge. And uh, and so yeah, so that's that's how pretty much basic, you know? 45 plus tax, install balance, grade A. And uh, customers are gonna always get those. They like the quality. They're gonna be bad because they like the quality. They're not. They, they, it's like customers know, man. Like it's, they're gonna be like, "Oh man, it's a freaking like low tread, and it's cost me this much." Like e even a lot of customers that don't know, like they'll look at the tire and they're like, "Hey, that 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 looks kind of like bald," you know what I mean? So, but as they look at your your like like grade A stuff, they'll be like, "Oh, like uh, yeah, that's yeah, tread. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it." And, and they're gonna they're gonna drive it and then they're gonna feel it smooth they're gonna see it's gonna last them and they're gonna be happy and they'll be back to buy more of those and remember they have four tires so they'll buy like one then like next week they'll come buy another one and you know that's how they do it it's, you know um but anyways so then you're gonna have always activity and uh and they're gonna love your shop because they're like and then they're gonna bring another car. Now they bring a 215, 55, 17. They got a newer car, or a nicer car, or whatever. And they're like, all right, how much of those? Same price, 45 plus tax each, right? And then they get like the tires like these, you know, something with tread, grade A stuff. And then um, it's gonna last, and they're gonna be happy again, and forever, for many years. So you gotta always think about long term, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 years. They're still your customer. I have, you know, personal customers in mind. 25 years, like they still coming, they're still buying. And, and even some of them are buying even the same freaking size, you know, that long. Like, example, like construction workers, they'll like bring, oh yeah, Bobcat tires, 10, 16 and a half. They've been buying that size from us for like 25 years or more, just the same old Bobcat they have and they just, they wear them out and they buy, they wear them out and they buy, they wear them out and they buy, and they're just like, you know, those are brand new, but I'm just saying, you want to think like that. And it's just like a bread and butter, don't worry about it, just get the tire, you know, put it on, sell it, they're happy, you're happy. Think about another hundred customers like that in, in the week, you know, or, or in the half a week or whatever, you know, whatever volume you do. And it's just like, just turning the inventory, just turning, all you gotta do is just buy more. Uh, next week, give me another, you know, whatever amount of hundreds that you're gonna buy. You know, if, if you wanna go that route, or if you wanna be like me, you buy so much inventory that it's just like extras, right? So, so like, I'll buy like everything I need and then extras. So when it goes down, I'll bring down my extras and then fill the, fill the uh, rows. So I, we did that today, I'll show you right now. Up here was filled with random 18s low pro 18s it was filled you see my other videos so we brought them down and then we put them in here because these were going down already they're already selling a lot so we put all the randoms in there and uh now we're filled again check it out 
Filled. Everything is filled in there. See that? And the same thing on the 19s. I'll walk you over here. We put tires on top randoms and it was filled up there. Uh, I'll show you this side so you can we see my other videos. It was filled up there. So then uh, we brought down tires and, and we started filling up the racks because we were selling them. So then uh, we put, filled up all in there. All our racks, all filled in here. And then uh, over here, filled up this, filled up that. And so, you know, that's what I do. And uh, but you can, you know, like I said, you can order more every week, uh, you know, and, and that's another thing. It depends how busy you are. Like I'm really busy with all kinds of stuff. So I'll have them bring me the tires. Rarely I'll go to their shop and pick out like I did two weeks ago around there. And, uh, and then when they unload, they just unload everything because like you picked them out already over there which is awesome but if you're busy like me and you don't have time to always go pick you just gotta call them and they know your stuff that you like and they'll bring it and then you sort it out at your shop and then what you don't like put back in the truck and then they'll leave you what you want to buy you pay for that and you're happy they're happy and you didn't leave the shop you know you were here working doing sales right selling you know making sure all the lug nuts on the, tr the cars are all attached in the right way and and all tightened up you know what i mean and uh but yeah so like you you gotta make a machine and 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 so like in my opinion you want to make a machine with all a's a grade tires because now you got the best quality and then you're gonna get a different kind of customer you get the lady that go into work that you know i don't know about tires but you know i'm willing to pay whatever oh yeah here you go 45 plus tax you got some good give me two of those put them on she's out like in you know 15 20 minutes and then another one that just comes the same old thing you know it just you know and, and they those are the people that you know then they sell send you the brother they'll send you the mom and then like you know all day like that all day and more cars and more cars and more cars and uh and so that's how you want to build your business pretty much so if you had that b stuff you know all low trade man that's like 1990s stuff man when i was growing up in the business like there was no like grade a stuff man it was all like war now and that's all we had to buy and and if you even had that stuff you were lucky man if you even had that freaking you know 1980s 1990s that that low tread stuff then you're freaking lucky like which we did we had a lot of stuff here um but you had to be very creative how to get your stuff and so anyways um but nowadays a whole different story not like 1980s 1990s that b stuff a only you know pretty much a only and uh and build a business like that and then he asked another question was what are the good sizes i should have at my shop like what are the good sizes right and i have a video of that if you want to look it up it's called important tire shop sizes for the tire shop business so there's your answer right there um but yeah so uh let me see so To add to that, uh, someone else posted just to, you know, confirm what I just said right now. Yeah, it's funny, that's on the same topic, but he said, I was always trying to be the cheapest in my city. And, uh, and then I switched to getting the best stuff and uh, getting the better quality. And uh, now I'm like, making more money and um uh have more more guys or or i'm paying my guys more and that's because i make more money and and, and that's exactly what i'm talking about that is exactly what he said you make more money you know how are you gonna buy you know real estate and all do all this stuff if you're you know trying to like you know get the cheapest stuff out there and and trying to make a profit on that and you know that, that that kind of stuff is like it's fine i guess when you're starting now maybe maybe but even then i don't want to get a reputation of this guy's the cheapest and uh i mean maybe you are just because you know the way you price your stuff and 
and the other prices the other shops are very expensive you know they get price of new over there and then they come over here and they get a price to use and you're like oh yeah you're the cheapest man but but in reality like it, that's not the whole goal the goal is to like you know build a business build a successful tire shop business and you're gonna do that with the quality stuff you know 245 75 16 quality stuff like that and uh and then that's how you're gonna always get a good reputation and just you know it, it, this is the thing check it out so what you want to compare is this if you have stuff like this on your car and you know you don't have to buy new no more because they're already fucking good right like the, the like people like that don't know and they, they tell me hey like uh, you know i i uh i want to get new but i i can't afford it so i uh, buy the used right now and i'm like oh, that's cool yeah it sounds good uh later on i'll buy the, i'll buy the new i'm like yeah and then uh and then they asked me, oh yeah, like how, how long, like, you know, we put them on the car, they're freaking badass tires, right? Like this stuff. And then they asked me, oh yeah, like how long do I need to like buy the new again? And I'm like, dude, you don't need to buy new no more. You're good already. Like you, you, in this case, you're like, you already bought some really good stuff that has a lot of tread and uh, you don't need to buy no more new because you already bought the tires that are free. But the, the fraction of the cost, they're like, oh shit. Like they're like, damn, like, you know, so cheap they think in their mind so cheap that like i don't gotta because you give them prices on the new and you give them the prices on the use and so the and then, so their mind is like damn that's that's a huge difference like i'm gonna have to eventually buy some new ones uh because like uh, in a nearby future because they, you know that price gap is like huge but the reality is if you have like good shit man like this it's like you don't have to no more i mean that's it you just bought the tires and you worry about something else now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't worry about the tires no more. I thought, like, you know, you, you know, you now you got to spend money on some other things like your water bill or something. You know what I mean? Like the damn electricity bill and shit, right? So, um, but that that's the kind of stuff you want, man. It's like you're gonna be saving a lot of people money. This is really like a, a, a business that you're gonna be making a big difference in people's lives. I, I I feel, you know, they don't gotta worry about freaking tires no more, man. Like. You know, number one thing, well, one of the one number one things, potentially one the number one thing people got to worry about in their car is, you know, tires. Because besides that, they got oil change, but oil change is going to last about, what, 8,000 miles? Uh, if they have shitty tires, then they're going to last for like 5,000, right? And then, like, now they got to change the tire faster than they do the oil change. And you know how people are, they, pr they push things, so, like, they'll push the tire... But you can't push too much. Like, oh yeah, there's only wires that are gonna show up next, and, and then it's like, and then it's like air, and then it's like you got a flat now. But the oil change, you can go and go, man. You go like 10, 15,000 miles, and like that car's still going. You know, like people that don't know about car maintenance and stuff, and, and you know, you can't do that with a tire. You, 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 it's done. Like you get a flat, and that's it. Like, so so tires is one of the things you can like hold, like like change like the fastest like you gotta like like you have to change it like there's no other way so so then that you know that's gonna be the one of the things that there's so much like worry about like oh yeah i don't want to get a flat on side of the freeway and and the good thing is that you buy if you buy tires from like a shop like like this kind of stuff is that you you're not gonna get a flat because like you wore them down so much the tire that it's out wires and it's like you know air it, you're gonna get a flat because you got a nail. You know, what I mean, it's not good because, you know, a brand new tire you're gonna get a nail, you're gonna go flat. A, a used tire that has high tread, you get a nail, it's gonna go flat. The same old thing. So that doesn't even count. It's gonna be like, okay, like, are the tires good enough to last? And if you're doing a good job, then and, and picking out the right tires, uh, then you're gonna make that customer like tire freaking life to last a very long time. You know, 25,000 miles on a freaking used tire, right? Uh, 30,000 if you got like super high tread stuff, but. Um, well, let me show you, uh, I'll share you a quick story. Um, so there's this one place in Glendale. It's a restaurant, it's a fancy restaurant. And uh, I think that they, uh, they sell like this special meat, right? It's like, like it's cattle, it's free, it's cow, right? But. Like, I don't, I'm not sure, like, like what kind of food it is. I just heard this story, right? But the point is, they sell, like, cow meat, right? Like, what, what kind of food? I don't know what it is, but it's a fancy restaurant. So, 
So it, it's very busy, very successful for many years and uh, Glendale, California, right? So then like, someone in interviewed him, uh, the, the guy, the owner of the place, right? Just, you know, it's a small business. He has one shop, one location, very busy. And, uh, and so like, he, they, he, they, they asked him, what, what, what is the difference between you and the other restaurants? Like, why is your place so busy? And, uh, you know, the guy said, uh, okay, so one of my secrets or, you know, one of my secrets is that I hand pick my meat every time we buy. So he pretty much buys the best meat, right? And it's not good, like, like to his quality standards, he's not gonna buy it. So we pick up the best meat and then buy it. And then like next day, or, or whatever he buys me next week or whatever, he'll like, he'll buy the best meat, right? Like the quality of each meat, he'll look at them. And he says, that's why I'm so successful because every single play we sell is like really bomb, like really, really good. And, uh, and that's my success. And I, and I feel, I heard that story many years ago. And so I, I pretty much, you know, I was already doing it, I applied it to my business because like every single tire that comes to like this shop, I pretty much hand picked, right? It's like, and it's like, that's how you, you gotta be though. It's like, you can't be buying tires unseen. Like you, this ain't real estate. You, you can do that with real estate. You never go out there and look at the property. That's fine. I've done that too. I have a mobile home park and I did that with a mobile home park. I haven't even seen the damn park in my life, but I already owned it for like five years, right? But the point is this, like you have to pick the tires, the good qualities. And, and, and same thing with my shop, busy all day long, a lot of cars. Uh, and and uh, But that was one of the secrets, he said. So I agree with the same thing, exactly the same thing like this shop. I hand picked the tires, a lot of freaking business all day, every day. And uh, that's true. And so like, you know, I hope that helps uh, when it comes to like your uh, tire picking experience, right? But anyways, uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna let you guys go, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Mamba out.